Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kristen Gilfus. We begin with an update to breaking news we first brought you last night. A man was sent to the hospital after crashing his car during a police chase in North Bryant. News 3's Whitney Miller tells us why he was running from officers in the first place and what happened right before he was thrown from his vehicle. Really surprised me. I just turned onto the road and uh, I saw a vehicle in the middle lane moving really quickly. Daniel Cooper says he was on his way to pick up his girlfriend Saturday night when out of nowhere he was almost clipped by a man who was fleeing state troopers. It was a pure moment of shock. It was very, very oh much surprised. A split yeah. second. It, yeah, definitely a split second. A split second that authorities believe may have ended the high speed chase. According to reports, 65 year old John Weber II was initially stopped for speeding on 190 near Wixon Valley. It was during that traffic stop the trooper says Weber tried to hide what appeared to be crack cocaine by throwing it out the window. That's when Weber sped off. He started passing cars illegally on the wrong side of the roadway. He swerved to miss another car lost control and uh, was ejected. But flying out of his car and his shoes didn't stop him from trying to get away. Trooper McKeon says he and another officer had to fight to get Weber under control and handcuffed. Amazingly, no one was seriously injured. Narrowly missed the taqueria. Everybody's getting dinner. I've uh, checked with other motors that stopped and luckily he didn't hit another motorist. Cooper is thankful for that and he says the near head-on collision with his car could have been avoided. I don't think anybody should run from the police. Uh, if you make a decision that you know, you're going to pay consequences for, I think you should just pay the consequences and not endanger lives of many other people that are around you. In Bryan, Whitney Miller, News 3. Weber is now facing charges of intoxicated driving, resisting and evading arrest, as well as tampering with evidence.